open or import the image you want to edit. In the menu bar, click on Select and click on Toggle Quick Mask. You will see a red overlay on top of your image. Select the Eraser tool from the toolbox and erase the subject from the background. Increase or decrease the size of the eraser based on the area you want to remove. After erasing the subject, go to the menu bar, click Select, and toggle Quick Mask, or use the shortcut Shift plus Q to select the subject. After selection, go to Select, and click Invert to select only the background, and press Delete to remove the background. In the menu bar, click on Select and None, and voila, you have successfully removed the background from the image. To select the image click on File and select Open to select the image you want to work on. Towards the top left there is a toolbox, select the Free Select tool from the toolbox and see to that the below two checkboxes are checked. To zoom in on the image press Ctrl key and spin your mouse wheel. Select a point and mark the points throughout the outline of the image. To move the image, select the image using the mouse wheel and move the mouse in the direction you want to move the image. To deselect the point you can press backspace on the keyboard. Select small parts of the area to get proper outline. Join the first and the last points. In the menu bar, click on Select and click on Invert and press Ctrl and X to remove the background. In the menu bar, click on Select and click None. To select the image click on File and select Open to select the image you want to work on. I have already selected my image. On the right side, you will find your image file. Right-click on it and select Add Alpha Channel to create a transparent layer. You can also find it in the menu bar. In the menu bar, click on Layer and select Transparency and Add Alpha Channel. In the left, there is a toolbox section. The Magic Wand tool is the Fuzzy tool. You can also find the Fuzzy tool in the menu bar by clicking on Tools and selecting Selection Tools and Fuzzy Tool or use the shortcut letter U. Select the Fuzzy tool and see to that the below options are checked. Left click on the background you want to remove, you can see the moving dots. If you increase the threshold more background area gets selected. If you decrease the threshold less background area gets selected. I will select 40 as my threshold and click on the background and press Ctrl plus X to delete the background. Left click and press Ctrl plus X in the areas you want to remove the background and voila, you have successfully removed the background from your image. First, open your image in GIMP. 
On the right, right-click the image layer and select Add Layer Mask. Keep it set to white, full opacity. Next, select the paintbrush tool. Make sure the foreground color is black and the background color is white. Adjust the size of your brush using the slider, a larger brush will remove more area quickly. Start painting over the background with the black brush to remove it. For detailed areas near the object, reduce the brush size for more precision. If you make a mistake, press Ctrl plus C to undo. If you erase part of the image you want to keep, switch the foreground color to white and paint over that area to restore it. You can keep switching between black and white to refine your edges. And that's it. You've removed the background from your image. Th the Select by Color tool is perfect for images with solid or high contrast backgrounds, like color that clearly separates from the subject. Open your image in GIMP. Go to the toolbox on the left and click the Select by Color tool. In the tool options below, check Anti-Aliasing for smooth edges, feathered edges for a softer transition, select Transparent areas to include semi-transparent spots, and draw a mask to preview your selection. In the Docked dialog, select the image and right-click and select Add Alpha Channel. Click on the background color to select it. Click and drag the mouse pointer to cover the background area you want to remove. You'll see a dotted outline around the selected areas. Click Ctrl plus X to delete the background. Ctrl plus mouse scroll to zoom into or out of the image. Check for the unremoved background and click on the pixels and repeat the process. And voila, you have removed the background using the color tool. Open your image in GIMP. From the toolbox, select the foreground select tool. In the tool options below, keep mode as replace the current selection. And draw mode as draw foreground. Move your mouse around the subject and continue clicking to add new points. Just make sure the line fully surrounds it no need to be precise here. Connect the last node back to the starting node to complete the outline. Hit enter. In the foreground color swatch, select any color you like. Inside the outline you just made, paint over the main subject. This tells GIMP what you want to keep. Select only the parts you want to keep in the final image. Open square bracket is the shortcut to decrease the size of the brush. If GIMP selected parts of the background by mistake, switch to Draw Background and brush over the areas you want to remove. This helps GIMP refine the selection further. Click Select. A selection area is created around the subject. Right-click on your image, choose Add Layer Mask, and set it to Selection. Make sure Invert Mask is unchecked, then click Add to apply the mask. Now you have a transparent background created using the Foreground Select tool. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.